If you've recently made a Bitcoin transaction, you probably realize that the long wait times make it rather inconvenient to be used as a currency. If you manage to get your transaction into the next block, you'll have to wait around until it confirms on the blockchain one to six times, taking anywhere from 10 minutes to 60 minutes. This is not the way Bitcoin transactions were originally intended to work. Before 2015, the majority of Bitcoin transactions were instant. This feature was called Zero Conf for zero confirmation transactions. Using Bitcoin as a payment method was much more convenient. You just scan your phone, your transaction is then broadcasted on the network, and you're done. No waiting for multiple confirmations or praying that your transaction makes it into the next block. Unconfirmed transactions could be trusted at the time because the first transaction broadcasted was the one included in the next block. If you try to perform a double spend and send those same coins to a second location before confirmation, the second transaction would be ignored by the network. Without the ability to double spend or to cancel a transaction, a merchant could safely assume that it would be confirmed in the next block without you having to wait. Instant transactions were reliable until the Bitcoin core team decided to introduce a fee market. The block size would be kept small, and fees would rise to the upper limit users were willing to pay for the security. With the rising transaction fees and full blocks, your transaction could get stuck for weeks in the mempool if you didn't pay a high enough fee. To try and fix this, a new feature, Replace by Fee, was added. This allows you to double spend your own transaction. The purpose being, if your transaction was stuck in the mempool because the fee was too low, you could rebroadcast the transaction with a higher fee to raise the chances of pushing it into the next block. Unfortunately, this broke zero conf. With replace by fee, when you make a purchase with Bitcoin, you can walk out the store and rebroadcast your transaction with a higher fee, rerouting it to your own address. Getting your Bitcoins back, minus the fee. This caused merchants to only trust transactions that have been confirmed on the blockchain, causing the long wait times we have today. With Bitcoin evolving into a store of value rather than a currency, wait times aren't always an issue. However, for the people using Bitcoin regularly, it is a deal breaker. So the Bitcoin community split and a hard fork initiated for those who wanted to use Bitcoin as a currency. The Bitcoin Cash hard fork removed replace by fee and implements regular block size increases so we can use zero conf again. As of now, zero conf is the most reliable and tested way to have instant transactions on a decentralized blockchain. But just like most things in cryptocurrency, there are some possible attack methods if you're willing to burn enough resources. It is technically possible to do a double spend without replace by fee. If a buyer conspired ahead of time, was very lucky, and was willing to burn tens of thousands of dollars worth of resources, he could attempt a double spend. The scenarios where an attacker could come even close to profiting this way are very few. But even so, while it's perfectly safe to use zero conf to do most of your transactions on the BCH blockchain, you may want to wait for those confirmations if you're selling a new Lambo or mansion to the next wave of cryptocurrency millionaires.